The main photo shows a Tui and going left to right the little inset videos show a saddleback, a weka and a red fronted parakeet all birds. This is my wildlife watching vlog for my trip to Kapiti Island which is just off the coast of the North Island of New Zealand. It's kind of a good day trip trip from Wellington, or at least that's how I did it. In fact I did it as two day trips. The first day trip I went to the point mark number one on the map. I saw these two New Zealand pigeons fairly early on and it is raining. It was quite a rainy day. I still saw quite a lot of, well, I saw a few forest birds and a lot of New Zealand pigeons. <laughs> So this is the path heading further into the forest. I spotted a burrow by the side of the road, road path, which was almost definitely, and a warden confirmed this afterwards, a little spotted kiwi burrow. And I think this was probably little spotted kiwi poo. So then continued heading along the forest path, which gave sort of views up the side of the valley showing the sort of top of the forest which I thought looked really beautiful encountered another two New Zealand pigeons feeding on the path kind of a theme for the day I think it's amazing how the world over pigeons look kind of similar although they've just got different colours and I think I think New Zealand pigeon scores quite highly for attractiveness and interest of colours. I quite like it. So I kind of wandered up to the viewpoint and it was raining a lot so didn't really get any photos. Walked back down and I saw this white head and then I saw this weka and then fight which seemed to be searching around maybe for food. They always seem to be on the look that lookout for food. And then finally I saw a red crown parakeet on the path. That constant inquisitiveness of Weka does make me wonder if that could be why they have so quickly learned to sort of steal food from rucksacks and stuff because they maybe that's that's just what they're like. They're just trained, genetically trained to continually be searching for things. So the second day I went to point two on the map because you can take a ferry across and choose either place to get off. So this is the view on the beach at the start of the day. I think this might be Takahi poo, but I'm not sure. And then here is a photo of a Tui, which I quite like, and I like the fact you can see its tongue. Wasn't raining today, and I think this is a better patch of forest, and I kind of got confirmation from others that they felt the same. Here's a video of a saddleback. We're going to see another video of a saddleback in a moment. Saddleback is a native New Zealand bird. There's not very many of them around. So I found this pretty exciting to see. And I think it's nice to see a conservation project that's going well. I was trying not to talk over the um, calls of the birds too much there. This is a kaka, which is a type of parrot. I think it's digging that line into the wood just to try and find food. That would be my theory. Maybe they're playing the ecological role that woodpeckers play, for example, in Europe. Can you see bits falling from the trees? Ah, I wonder what's up there. Oh, look, there's something moving in the leaves. It's a red crown parakeet. And in close up, we can see flashes of its red crown. This, this could have been a nice way to finish the video, but I've decided to put one more clip in. I think 
So maybe think of this as the end if you're not really into bird watching. In which case, remember to check out the description, there's a link to my blog. Otherwise, a bit more into bird watching. I think this for me this is the most exciting thing. It's a New Zealand pippet, an extended view. Wow. I didn't see many New Zealand pippets on my trip. And I I enjoyed this prolonged view of one. But for some people it is just a little brown bird.